Good happy Friday morning, September 25, 2015. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. First up, audited points to flaws in state's food protection program. A state audit shows New Hampshire's food protection program is mired in infections that are preventing the timely inspection of establishment that sells and produces food. Merrimack Police introduced two special parking spots. Merrimack Police have introduced two special parking spots at the station. Man dies while hiking Mount Monadnock with family. A Massachusetts man died while hiking Mount Monadnock with his family Thursday evening, officials said. Berlin man who put boy in Dreyer sentenced. A Berlin man who put his girlfriend's son in a clothing dryer in Maine last year has been sentenced to spend the next three years behind bars. Hurl Parade and Fans Fest kicks off weekend in New Hampshire. The chase for the Sprint Cup is on. Gear has arrived for the driver Thursday at Magic Mile, ahead for Sunday's Sylvania 300. Goffstown High School throws send-off for men again out of special ed program. A Goffstown man's time in high school came to a bittersweet end this week, but his classmates sent him out in a memorable way, lining the halls as he wheeled out of the school one last time. Massachusetts man arrested after hit and run in Hudson. A Massachusetts man is accused of driving while intoxicated and fleeing the scene of an accident on Lowell Road in Hudson. Manchester Police emergency crews responded to multiple drug overdoses. Emergency workers in Manchester responded to more than a half dozen reported heroin overdoses in the past 24 hours, and police said it shows the epidemic remains a growing problem. Motorcycle collides with minivan on Route 28B in Hooksett. Hooksett police said a crash involving a motorcycle and minivan occurred at 4.25 p.m. Thursday at the intersection of the Londonderry Turnpike in Auburn Road. Maine gives example how medical marijuana may work in New Hampshire. Medical marijuana dispensaries could open in New Hampshire as early as January, and Granite State is wondering what to expect could look to Maine as an example.
Hook said police say woman ran over man during argument in Taco Bell parking lot. A Manchester woman is accused of driving a sport utility vehicle into a man on a motorcycle during an argument with him on Thursday evening. Sanders holds big lead over Clinton. Biden key factor. On the strategy of his personal plan and his overall stand on the issues, Bernie Sanders has opened up a big lead over Hillary Clinton in New Hampshire while likely Democrats voters are split on whether Joe Biden should jump into the race. Investigators hope Baby Doe attention helps Allenstown cold case. A cold case out of Allenstown that involved the killing of a woman and three children is coming up on its 30th anniversary. Child, child, childhood cancer Village at White House canceled over security concerns. Hundreds of people, including several Granite Staters, found themselves barricaded out of the park near the White House just before a planned vill village to support childhood cancer research last weekend. Pope Francis in New York, watch what to watch Friday. Pope Francis has a busy day in New York and it kicks off with a much anticipated speech in front of a global audience. Number one, the United Nations. Number two, a gr at ground zero. Number three, Central Park. Number four, the Pope's favorite school. In number five, a rock star setting. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday. See you back here later on. Goodbye. <laughs>